And, and that's a new thing for you, going to therapy? I had gone, but never really with the intention of fixing anything that ran deep. Like, as soon as they scratched the surface, I was like, ah, oh, you're annoying. <laughs> you know, everyone annoys me, so that's a perfect excuse. <laughs> Hey everybody, I am so excited to bring you all the brand new seasons of Pretty Big Deal. And as you can see, this season looks a little bit different from the past seasons. Because of the ongoing pandemic, I'll be talking to my guests through Zoom instead of in person. But don't you worry, because we will still bring you amazing conversations and the story behind everybody's Pretty Big Deal moment. Stay healthy and happy and enjoy the episode. It's called Tropical Vibes by Ashley Graham and Revlon, and Katie is a dedicated makeup artist and always uses it on me. It's go time, ladies and gentlemen. Go time. <laughs> Cue the music. As always, this episode is sponsored by my go-to for everything makeup, Revlon. Today, I'm talking to the hilarious Chelsea Handler. She is a TV host, an actress, comedian. She's also one of the funniest people that I know. Welcome, Chelsea Handler. Okay, so very exciting. Tomorrow, you have your HBO Max special coming out called Evolution. But it's really interesting because Girl, I heard you say that you were you had a lot of fear walking into this. Like you didn't even know if you wanted anybody to to hear from you, see you again. What's up with that? I think I went through a really like, you know, once I left my e show and then my Netflix show, like I just I was kind of at a point where I didn't know what I wanted to put out. You know what I mean? What I wanted to contribute. I've kept feeling like I was offered all these opportunities with very little thought and why and I kind of had some guilt about it and some confusion about it, mm. you know, and then discovering my own, you know, my own white privilege. That combined with therapy really opened my eyes to the world that I'm in and what am I gonna do moving forward? And, and that's a new thing for you, going to therapy? Well, I mean, you know, I used to go, like I had gone, but never really with the intention of fixing anything that ran deep. You know, like as soon as they scratch the surface, I was like, ah, oh, you're annoying. You know, everyone annoys me. So that's a perfect excuse. I'm like, you're, he's too annoying. She's too annoying. She asks too many questions. It's like, well, she's a therapist. But, um, you know, they, I was just happened to be in the right time. Right. Um, and the right place to be able to actually get real. And believe me, for the first, you know, probably six or seven sessions, I couldn't even like, you know, any ch closeness we got to me, you know, my eyes watering or getting emotional, I would literally like do Kegel exercises. I would be sitting there like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry in front of this man. Do not let this man see you vulnerable, do not. And so he had to like un unpick that. And every time he got close, you know, I, I was like, no, 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 my body just shut down. I go, like, you can't, can't, can't cry, can't cry until eventually you just, you know, there's snot running out of your nose like for eight sessions in a row. And you're like, ah. I feel like I just kind of exhaled a little bit because I just started therapy in quarantine for the first time ever. And it was a lot of realizations that I had as well. I think that first of all, we, everybody kind of talks about therapy as like, um, like a fashion statement. Oh yeah, I, I take therapy also. But when you actually go into it, like how you said, like you actually allowed the therapy to work, that's when it's most effective. And I kept saying, I'm fine, I'm good, everything's okay. And I kept putting a wall up because Miss Positivity over here, when everything wasn't fine, everything wasn't okay. And I had to succumb to the fact that there were issues in my life that I had to hit and, and face um, head on. Right, and also it's a, you know, when you're going to therapy, you're, you're actively searching for discomfort. <laughs> like there was, a, you know, eight weeks where every time I went, I knew that I was gonna spend an hour and a half bawling in mm. front of somebody. So driving to that excursion, <laughs> knowing what your next hour and a half is gonna be like and saying yes to it. So it's so liberating, mm -hmm. you know, to learn about vulnerability, to know that vulnerability is strength, not weakness. Mm -hmm like it, it releases it because when you resist something then it persists yes and our thoughts can get very negative and it's our it's our responsibility to keep it up keep our vibrations high up positive you know i've been in a bad way these last i came home from like a two-month vacation i was back east filming my special and then i, I just was back east because covid was better there and i was so sick of being in la 
because it was getting so out of control here. Mm -hmm. And I came back and my decks had been painted black. My entire house, my decks had been painted black. And I've done way too much therapy to be upset about decks. But I, I, I mean, my assistant, I mean, I must have screamed at him for 30 minutes. And I lost my shit. And that was the first time I've lost my shit. You know, like yeah. really since I've gone to therapy. And I was so mad at myself. I was so disappointed in myself. And I was so down for like two weeks because I'm like, how could you do that? How could you lose your cool? It's just decks, it's money, it's nothing. You know, like this isn't something to be upset about. And the process of like berating myself about my behavior becomes a cycle mm. of negativity. And then you're feeling bad about yourself and then you really can't snap out of mm. it because you're in a pity party. Mm. And you have to like really pull yourself out of those negative thoughts what are those and just tools? do better. What are the tools that your therapist gave you that you use now so like when you went into that two week banter with yourself, like how did you get yourself out of that? Well, I did get stuck for a while. My sister called me the other day. She goes, you've been in a mood, bad mood since you got home. And I was like, well, have you seen my decks? And she said, <laughs> she's like, she goes, you need to go to Dan. I was like, well, Dan's annoying me right now, my therapist. And she's like, I go, everyone's annoying me right now. And she goes, well, this is not, you know, you've been doing so well for like three or four years. Like this is old Chelsea. Mm. And I said, yeah, I know. I'm aware, Simone, but there's an election happening. We're in a pandemic that is interminable. I think it's a pretty good time to be in a bad mood. And my sister said, we'll just snap out of it. And I said, you snap out of it. You can't just snap out of it. But then I woke up and I was like, you better. So the tools are to not be small. Mm. You know, I always write that, I have that written down. Don't be small. Like don't, negativity is always small. Gossiping is small. You know, wow, it's the lowest common good. denominator of everything. So whenever I get down, you know, too low, I just remember that I'm being small, mm -hmm. you know, and that I'm not being generous of spirit. To hear the whole conversation, make sure you listen to Pretty Big Deal wherever you listen to podcasts. I got a nine month old now and my life is very chaotic and on the go. So I found this product that I am obsessed with and it's called Flamingo. This literally takes all of maybe two minutes and I'm fully hydrated. If you want moisturized, hydrated skin, make sure you go to Flamingo. They've got all the things, you'll love it all and make sure you tell them that I sent you. I have to say that was such an amazing conversation with Chelsea. Again, thank you um, for sharing your complete evolution. And you can also go watch Evolution now live on HBO Max.